This is a quick announcement, but a super exciting one. The audiobook of my novel is now available on Audible, and yes, it is narrated by Michael Kramer and Kate Redding, which is beyond it's so awesome. Ah, beyond belief. I was trying to say beyond belief, but then I got confused with saying so awesome. So I, I have a lot of feelings on the subject. The coolest thing about this is that you can actually get my audiobook for free if you sign up with Audible for a 30-day trial. In actual fact, as of the day of uploading this video, you can actually get two free audiobooks and two free Audible originals. This isn't a sponsored post, by the way. It's a great deal. You can literally get my audiobook for free, and if you're wondering, I still get paid for it. This is the great thing about it. And if you don't want to pay the monthly subscription after your free trial, you simply cancel it, and you get to keep the audiobooks that you got for free. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that again, for free. So seriously, if you like my content and you wanted to support me to just keep on going, this is the easiest way you could possibly ever do it, and you get the audiobook on top of it. Just look to the right side of the screen when you're at Amazon and click on Try Audible for free, and once you're signed up, simply find Shadow of the Conqueror or any audiobook authored by Shad M. Brooks, and you'll get it for free. Now, if you haven't used Audible before, please use the affiliate link that I have in the description below, because if you sign up through that link, well, I actually get a little bit of a bonus on top of just purchasing the audiobook. So that would be great. It would be a big support to me and the channel, my family, and just trying to make more awesome stuff for everyone. Also, when you use the affiliate link, if it doesn't automatically take you to your country's version of Amazon or Audible, uh, make sure you do that as well, okay? Because the prices sometimes can be different. Also, to let everyone know who has been asking about this, the hardcover is now released as well. You can get it through Amazon, of course, and then any other major book retailer. So Barnes & Noble and all those stuff. Also, so if you've read or listened to the book and you really enjoyed it, please, it would mean the world to me if you could leave a review on Amazon, Goodreads, or Audible if it was the audiobook you got to enjoy. Now, to round off this announcement video in a very appropriate and fitting way, I'm actually going to play some of the audio narration, and it's just going to be the very beginning of the book. You'll get to listen to Michael Kramer narrating just a small portion. They are just phenomenal. It's, the book sounds so good. And as you know, I love owning both the audiobook and the hardcovers because it's just awesome. I hope for having something real physical in your hands, and then listening to it, not only is it just really convenient, so you can do it when you're either traveling or, you know, in the car or doing any number of things, but but it's such a different immersive experience, and th these two narrators are the best, okay? The emotionality that they're able to put in their voice, the real subtle things, it, it stood out to me so much when I was listening to it the first time, because writing my book, you kind of get into a routine of, you, of certain lines that you've always played out in your head a certain way, and then when you have these masters come along, and they deliver the line completely differently to how you kind of envisioned it, and it being so much better, and uh, on top of this, there are so many, like, lines that you know, uh, just in the writing process, to, to me, like there's so many, they're not really that important. They didn't have huge weight or gravity to them. But when Michael and Kate deliver them in, like, in the most amazing way, some of these, a lot of these lines that I kind of just took for granted, I was like, whoa! That hits me because they invest in, like such emotionality and you know characterization and attention to every single line. It's it's phenomenal. I was nearly crying when I heard them do my audiobook because I love them. They are so talented, and hearing them narrate my book was just amazing. And if you like what you hear, please grab my audiobook on Audible if you're already signed up. And if you're not, use that affiliate link. It'll be such a big boost and help. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy. My name is Dalen the Morin, but most knew me as the Great Bastard, the Scourge of Nations, Dalus the Conqueror. Yes, contrary to what everyone believes, I'm not dead. This is no jest. Honestly, who would claim to be me? You'll find enough evidence in my home to prove what I say. I know this revelation will distress most people who survived my rule, enraged that I escaped punishment. But I haven't. The twenty years I've spent in hiding have been torture, where death would have offered me the rest I desire. My torment comes not from my fall from power or that I live in squalor, but because of my endless guilt. Yes, that's right. I, Dalus the Conqueror, decree I was in every way the despicable tyrant the world claims I was. I murdered, raped, pillaged, and ravaged the world all in the name of the Dawn Empire. 
Would you believe that in all my actions I thought I was serving the greater good? Regardless, I've come to know nothing justifies what I've done. I wish there was a way I could fix things, to go back in time and change it all, but what is done is done, and I'm left to hate myself more than any person alive. I cannot express in words the depths of my shame. Every hour is agony, and I would have ended my life years ago if not for the knowledge shining through my soul that I deserve such a profound form of torture. But now, my aged body fails, and death draws near, which I welcome as a long-awaited, if undeserved, gift. I could wait out the few falls I have left, but if I am to die I'll see it done my own way. The world should be free of Dalus the Conqueror once and for all, and to that end I plan to cast myself from the continent. I know. Poetic. I leave this letter so the world will know the truth. Dalus the Conqueror died hating himself and his whole life. As meaningless as these words are, I'm sorry. I leave a world worse for my having lived in it, and go to embrace the endless hell I so rightly deserve. If I am lucky, perhaps I'll be cast into utter darkness, and my existence destroyed. Dalen Namoran, also known as Dalus the Conqueror. Year 51 of the Fifth Day.